Hey guys, welcome back to our vlog. We're in Fiji. Uh, today we're starting our day here in Suva. Welcome back to our vlog. We have a three nights on this beautiful hotel. The Grand Pacific it is a beautiful hotel. It's right over a hundred years old. It is. It used to be the uh, old government building, yeah? But now the government building is across the street. Yeah. And we're going to go check it out today. So today we're going to take our own walking tour. Uh, we're going to go to the gardens, uh, the museum, the government building. Check out some of the churches in town. Go to downtown, maybe get to the market or the marina to check out maybe a boat tour for tomorrow. So stay with us as we take a walk around Suva, Fiji. All right, the Thurston Garden, this is the Botanical Garden here. Let's see here. Botanical Garden, reconstructed in 1912 to 1913, opened August 15th, 1913. And it's right across from our hotel and it's across from, uh, from the government building. Yeah, that's, that is the, the new government building over there. But we like gardens. We do. So here we are. We didn't see anything in Suva yet. So we, we start with what we like Very and cool. we make our way up to the market. Yep, or wherever we find. So just over here is Albert Park Pavilion. It's where they do uh, rugby matches and soccer games and things. And we could hear it from across the street in our room. And it's just two uh, local towns having a rugby match against each other. Wow, look at this tree. What'd you find, baby? I find the big tree. That is a big tree. You want me to go on top? <laughs> I'm going hiking, baby. I see. What are you doing up there? I'm like a monkey. Don't I look like one? <laughs> That's cool. It's the original public fountain here in the park from 1914. <laughs> it's like an exact replica of the way you dry a, a old fire hydrant, huh? It's working. Oh, yeah. There you go. So oh, we're cool. just making our way through the Thurston Park to the Fijian Museum over there. We go through? Sure. I thought they were like uh, seed pods, but all those big black spots are bats hanging up in the tree. Ben is, re is recording the bats up there. I, I couldn't tell what they are. I thought that the tree is like burn, or, you know, like dead leaves. But they are huge bats. I never see such a thing. They are out in September up on the tree. And they are huge. That's crazy. So this is the tree that just is covered in bats. And we probably shouldn't stay under here so we don't get pooped on. <laughs> but don't you really, you this. can't see them from the underside of the tree. But this tree is huge, so they be, they pick a big tree and it's probably oh, only can, in that tree. You can see them from this side. Yeah, it's like a colony of them. They all live together. And only in that tree. Here's a big park. There is other big trees, but only that tree. That's their tree, I guess. got their bats on. That's, I don't know, probably. People that live in Fiji are looking at us like we're nuts for playing with I'm, them. I'm still in shock to see them. Yeah, so this is the Fiji Museum here. So we're gonna go learn some facts about the about Fiji. All right, so this is the Fiji Museum. There's a museum and a library center and of course offices. Wow, so the first thing they have is this reconstruction of the boat that the original Fijians used to get to Fiji on the back of it, so I didn't have a chance to read the storyboard. But it is an impressive boat. So the Fiji Museum is located five minutes drive from the capital city of Fiji, Suva. 
It's actually right across from the Grand Pacifica Hotel where we stay at. The historical museum holds architectural findings datating back 3,500 years, as well as cultural objects reflecting Fiji's inhabitants during the past 100 years. And uh, our house is in the oldest museum in the South Pacific. It's interesting to take an hour or two to see the Fiji Museum in Suva, Fiji. The museum opened at 8.30 and closed at 4 p.m. So let's go to explore the museum. So this map up here represents the different provinces of Fiji and also shows where caves are and freshwater sources, natural hot water springs. So now we're sort of in the pink purple area. Well, as always with these museums, there are so many stories in here to be told, yeah baby? Reading the signs and all the different stories. Oh, these are cool shelves. About the animals and the people of Fiji, all the different artifacts. It's really interesting. So this is an interesting timeline of Fijian Indians. Uh, so people from the country we now know as India, traveling to Fiji. And we start in 1833, and they show even the first tour in India, which was in 1857, all the way up to now. First independence war in India. I never knew there was a large Indian population in Fiji. And the second we got off the plane, it is rather uh, evident. Another and they still keep their tradition. They still have the Indian uh, outfits on. Yeah. In fact, one of the places we're going to visit are some Hindu temples. And we've never been to India, but it's on our bucket list. It is on if, our bucket list. If it's not next year, it's a year after. The traditional clothes, the instruments. They have the instrument. They, yeah. This one, it looks like a, a mini piano. Yeah, it's Harmon Harmon Loom is not an accordion, it's not a harmony, and not a piano, so it's in between all of them. It's so interesting in, in this museum, it's, they have a TVs and explain how people live and how they, they come here. It's very interesting. So if you want to visit the Fijian Museum, it was only five Fijian dollars, so it's an absolute must stop. It only takes uh, maybe an hour to walk through. I guess you could spend a little more it time. It was 10 Fijian. It's on sale. Yeah, oh, that's wow. what they charged us, yeah. You pay us 10 for both of us? Yeah. Oh, that's cheap. Super cheap, even 10, 10 is cheap. It's only not even $5. Not even $5. It looks like outside yeah, they have a little bit of a arboretum where they're growing some plants. And they're probably gonna have more uh, bats in the tree. Probably. They scare me so bad. We are absolutely amazed by the bats in the trees. So now I think we're gonna walk towards the cathedral and see if we can find the market. It's all in a all pretty in small walking, walking distance. Area. Yeah, it's all within walking distance. But we can still hear the rugby match. I almost wish we would have gone and watched it. And that's the government building there. Should be about a half hour over this way. We're gonna go visit the cathedral and the market. So this building right here behind us is the British Commonwealth Government House. So that should tell you how much power and influence Britain still has over Fiji. Yeah, they I don't have... really know the political situation, but it's just interesting that Britain has a government building here. They have the police all the time yeah. over there, it looks like. Yeah, they did. They have like British security out, so I don't know. But we're gonna go here to the Fiji Fijian government building. Parliament of the Republic of Fiji. Let's go see if it's open Saturday. Yeah. Looks Building like it. So this is the actual parliamentary chamber. We got a couple guys working on some things. It's a really pretty, really pretty parliamentary chamber. I wonder what the saying under the coat of arms is. Okay, so when the workers that was in there fixing things came up and told us that it was restricted and we had to go. So we're gonna go ahead and leave the building. I hope you get an opportunity to go inside. It's really pretty. So in this room, we found a bunch of pictures of, this is the old parliament house, pictures of the House of Representatives from the different years. 
the official mix. I think that's sort of like the gavel in the States. Here we got 2014, 19, and the 2023 Parliament as it sits today. So this is more of the main government building. I think this is actually the front door. <laughs> we didn't know, but we walked in through the side door. And it's right across from Holiday Inn. Yeah, Holiday, Holiday Inn's Inn. right across the street. And Holiday Inn's also right next to our hotel, the Grand Pacific. It was opened in 10, October 10, 1874. I would assume, yeah. The entire inscription there is in Fijian. Ratu Sirlala Sukina. Statement, soldier, parliament chief, and leader of men. 1888 through 1958. He must be a like a founding father of Fiji. Wow. They even keep him nice and painted and you see all of his medals are all in the proper colors. Must be a really important guy in Fijian history. Hey baby, what'd you get in the convenience store? I, I got a bottle of Fiji water, the big huge one. Fiji. Okay, that's like seven dollars in the States. How much is it here? It's four fifty Fijian money, which is like two dollars something. Two and a quarter, maybe. And they and they give me change in well, their let's money. See the Fijian money. So you gave them a the fifty? That's a Fijian and they 20. Give me, So I'm guessing this is fifty because it's forty five and a coin. And a five? That's pretty good. So things actually in Fiji aren't crazy expensive. All right, so how much is gas in Fiji? Diesel is 251 Fijian per liter and regular is 287 Fijian per liter. So that means it's like $1 per liter. A little so more. So it's a, not cheap. A liter of regular gas what was it 287, so half minus a little, so like $1.70 a liter. $1. No. All right, so we just did some quick calculations, really bad ones. And if you convert Fijian dollars and liters and all that into US dollars, it seems like to be $4.50, $5 for a gallon so is US. This, so it's not, not the same like Vegas. Not terribly expensive, but, but not, yeah, not cheaper cheap. than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be $6, $7 a gallon. So a couple of raindrops fell from the sky and Chris dressed in her plastic. It's freaking raining. Yeah, but in truth, Having a poncho like this is really nice to have because it is starting to actually come down pretty good now. So we found the cathedral we're looking for that Chris wanted to come and see. As you can see, there's a monsoon out by the way that Chris is dressed. And it's a beautiful sunny day by the way I'm dressed, so. <laughs> but <laughs> so look at that, out. I like the up on top yeah. of the building. Yeah. They have that nice the statue. statue, it's like uh, silver. Uh -huh. So pretty. So Let's Chris go is going to go in the cathedral. She is religious, I'm not. Although she's Orthodox, not the Catholic, but she loves, loves the Catholic cathedrals. They are so beautiful and they, they really are beautiful. So we were going to go in the Sacred Heart Cathedral here, but they have a, an event going on. I'm not sure what, some religious event or a wedding or something. So we're going to leave them alone and leave them to their event. So walking around, we found the BSP Arcade, which is more like a mall, not like a video game arcade. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Let's go shopping. So we went upstairs at the mall arcade. There's a food court up here. All sorts of different uh, Chinese and Indian uh, food sauce. Yeah, soup. That looks really good. So we're gonna walk around until we find something that we want to eat. All right, so here at the food court, we tried Tasty Kingdom. We got the ginger chili chicken for $12 Fijian, which is like $5.50 US. And it is a huge portion of chicken, a little side salad, and a, probably a cup and a half or two cups of rice. I mean, Fiji is really not that expensive if you get away from the resort corridor and hotels. So that's where we just were in, the BSP Arcade, upstairs at the food court eating. And we're on the second back building there. The Club Agarca. So, oh, I lost Chris to shopping. Here we go. Let's see what we have. So don't forget these prices are in Fijian dollars. So a little less than half. So blue jeans, $15. Dresses, $17, $16. And $25 dresses in US dollars. Yeah. In all honesty, Fiji is not that expensive 
or an island paradise. Things that are imported are very expensive. Somebody did her shopping. We went shopping. I bought myself a dress. You're gonna see me with a dress tonight, a Fijian dress. Yeah. Ah. Nice. So and yeah, and a lot of the clothes in that shop are actually made here in Fiji. They actually import the material and make the clothes here. So we got a dress, a shirt, and Chris got new colors of contacts. And it was like not even fifty dollars, I don't think. We're gonna have three nice. You can hear the bar up there. They got some live music playing. And we're gonna keep walking around this downtown we're go shopping area. Shopping more. More shopping, more uh, looking I, around. If you ever come to Fiji, get more money. More cash. More cash. All because they charge everything if you wanna way more cash <coughs> if you wanna buy with a credit card. Uh -huh. And a lot of stores they don't take credit cards. Yeah, we're gonna so, go this way. Yeah, I would definitely bring a lot of Fijian cash with you or be ready to use the ATM machines. So wandering around a little bit, we found the Suva Handcrafted and Suro Cinema Center. Kuro? Kuro? I don't know. That's a bunch of little stalls and vendors. This is where you really should buy all your souvenirs. All the independent small shops. What'd you get? I get the necklace. Yeah, it's mother it's of pearl. Mother of pearl. Let's see. Wow. It's really nice. And it was 60 Fijian money. 60 Fijian, so $28, dollars something like that. It's a lot of cool vendors in here. They said they're closed on Sunday and open on Saturday. And I really, really recommend that this is where you come do your souvenir shopping. All these small privately owned businesses is where you should do your shopping. We found better deals even on our clothes in the shops than the ones that weren't so, or so uh, corporate looking. So this lady's here in her stall and she's actually making pendum leaves and she's actually weaving her own purses here. You can see all of her materials here and that's where she makes them. That's why I love all these smaller uh, souvenir stalls as you find things more interesting handmade things to me this is really the place to buy your souvenirs all right so we found another uh, place to go eat this place isn't even listed on google maps but it's another restaurant with a bunch of smaller little food vendors in it chinese food indian food local uh, fijian food and chris is over there gonna try some butter chicken and that's what we do is walk around try something to eat that's why we share all of our meals all right, we made it back to our hotel after having a little walk around downtown Suva. And we spent about three, three and a half hours walking around and shopping. And as you can hear, they still have the rugby matches going on behind us. It's Saturday and they've been going on all day. And the fans are absolutely into it all day. You can hear them from all over town. So we're going to take you into the Grand Pacific here. And show you around a little bit. Yep. So this is the main lobby of the Grand Pacific, and it is a beautiful hotel. There's some shops on the main lobby level. A jewelry shop, pearls. There's a like a coffee shop that serves cakes and coffee. Them, which is nice to have on site emergency medical services looks like they have a conference center uh, yeah they have a conference center set up here fiji ports yep they do offer breakfast here but it was 50 fijian dollars for a uh, buffet breakfast and it's probably a little too much food for us in the morning so we didn't get it yeah we just got room service this morning um not too badly priced i think what an omelet and two coffees was 29 in fijian so less than 15 dollars for room service yeah the flower displays beautiful like you see the old fans baby from the 50s or the like the 20s Probably original. 
All right, let's go all back and look at the pool here. So this is where we ate last night out on the pool deck. Uh, Chris had chicken alfredo and I had a cheeseburger and we both had a drink and it was, I think like a hundred Fijian to like $50. We're gonna show you guys at the bar back here. That's probably a nice spot just to sit and have a drink or two. So this is our hotel, the Grand Pacific. We're on the, the seaside, it's right up on the ocean, but you can't really get in. It's more like a seawall here all the way around. It's not a nice sandy beach. But out there, you can see the surf break. That's where the surfers go out on the reef. It's an absolutely beautiful hotel. And if I remember right, the standing room rate was under $200 US. And a hotel comparable in Hawaii would probably be closer to 500 a night. Drinks coming. So we explored the town today. Now we're back at the hotel, sit back with a drink. And even at the hotel bar, a pina colada was, I think, like $10 US, and a beer is like five, not even. And our hotel is just right on the ocean here. It's absolutely a beautiful view. The rain stopped, so we're enjoying the cool weather. Absolutely beautiful. Very and nice then hotel. we're gonna go get ready for the dinner buffet. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to have a show and stuff like that, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see how good that is. It's also here at the hotel, and it was, I think, 50 Fijian dollars? 55. 55? So, like 25 bucks US. Without the drinks. Yeah. fire show outside by the pool in the meantime we get the food I get my drink get his drink cheers Bula. let's enjoy the beautiful night here at the Grand Palace okay can you tell you the 